Ciao. Hello my Sagittarius friends, it's Guiding Halo here and this is going to be your reading for the week of September 8th to the 15th and what spirit would like you to know. I've got the sun shining right in my eyes. I wonder if things are becoming so clear to you guys that you can barely see straight just because it's like, it's so brightly clear. It's like, whoa, it's almost like shock. The sun, look at that. Mm-hmm. My Sagittarians, very happy outcome. Plans that work out perfectly. Amazing ideas that lead to rewards and com commendations. Gratitude for the blessings of life. Beautiful. What a beautiful way to start your reading, my Sagittarian friends. You have been feeling out in the cold financially, perhaps. Dealing with an emperor boss type scenario. Someone not understanding you or how you work or how you do deal with things. Well, there's a very happy outcome coming here. And amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendation. Gratitude for the blessings of life. So we got going on here for my Sagittarian friends. Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. Moon card. Not sure how you're going to make your Ten of Pentacles. But you know you're going to. Maybe someone's coming to some money and they're sitting there like, I don't believe it. You kidding me? That can't be for me. What? No way. It's an offer. There's an offer coming your way that you may want to snub because you actually don't believe it is for you or valid or... Yeah, there's definitely confusion over that offer. You betcha. Weighing the pros and cons, looking down, seeing the truth of the situation. Could be dealing with water, energy, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You got a plan to bring some money your way, and you're not going to let anyone change your plan because you know it's going to work. You are standing strong and firm in self fulfillment here. Pages, swords, a new ingenious idea about how to get things going. Truth delivered without tact in some sort of way. Could be dealing with your children. Buckling down and getting the work done. Uh, children are a soulmate or your views of the past. Perhaps someone delivered news or information to you or said something about you were talking about the past perhaps or history with the kids or with family or when you were a kid and someone delivered news that you said oh I don't remember it that way perhaps you're actually get buckling down and getting the work done to find clarity on what was said here in some sort of way shape or form let's get a message from spirit whoa okay, oh goodness so we have important psychic insights coming about an offer that you've been given that perhaps you didn't want to take and it could have been about a soulmate so perhaps in hindsight and maybe that's why you feel very very rich because in hindsight you're seeing that this all worked out for you better than you could have even planned yourself like you starting to realize and see clearly the divine totally has you in this circumstance. It could be that you've come into a job promotion or you've saved your money, you had some wise investments and one of them's come to fruition. You're trying to figure out how best to invest the money again or how best to divvy it up into which what you want to do and there's an ingenious idea coming to you about it and I see that you're gonna buckle down and get the work done but why do I sense hesitation what's the hesitation about you're just I, I think that someone's not sure that they can trust 
the love there, there's a certain way that you viewed love from childhood and someone's not displayed that love for you in that manner which you have viewed it from childhood and I think it's a harsh lesson to a certain extent to understand that perhaps how you view love isn't how it is or somebody else is in that scenario that you're dealing with so there is going to be an ingenious idea about how to handle all of these options that make you emotional where finances are concerned and important psychic insights coming about an offer that was given and could have been with a soulmate or something to do with your children but it definitely had to do with money perhaps an inheritance or who gets what when they pass when you pass away or how it's all going to be divvied up in some way shape or form and you're having an ingenious idea about how to deal with this and you're buckling down and getting the work done here and the plans work out perfectly amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations gratitude and bless for the blessings of life we're a chatty bunch over here always talking about how you how to support you in your life's journey we communicate to you through language of oracle dreams signs metaphors and omens in your life on earth however clarity in your communication is essential to being understood you don't speak in symbols and if you did did you would definitely confuse things. Right now you're facing a situation in which you're being asked to have integrity. Be clear and learn how to ask for your needs to be met. The first step is to admit out loud that you have needs. The second is to ask out loud for them to be met. And the third is to allow the other person, organization, or even us to answer you. When you follow these steps, you can most definitely expect an answer. In your favor, affirmative, we say, loving you so very much. Oh, well, now I see why there's hesitation. Because the angels or caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. So could there be ramifications for what you think is a great ingenious idea that you're buckling down, getting the work done? Things you're not seeing behind the scenes the divine's trying to offer you regarding your children or a soulmate. Because somehow you think you have it figured out. But the divine is asking you to pay attention, open your heart and your mind to receiving messages from them about that because something's amiss. They want this for you and you are definitely on the tr this track. You're a very happy outcome, but you've got to get, get, you have to ask for all of the information. There's something you're missing here in information that could, could veer things sideways. And perhaps too it's about feeling insecure about giving anything to somebody because they've dealt you wrong in some way you feel so you're feeling like you can change the trajectory or manipulate the situation for the best outcome of everybody or for the best outcome to avoid a war in the end Okay, I'm going to read this card, the Shadow Queen, Acquiring Knowledge, Insecurity, and Manipulation. I'm going to read this from the book. If y'all don't like me doing that, feel free to click off now. I wish you the best. This is card number 16, which goes to a 17. Let's read it. Or uh, number 7, which is a very spiritual number. Card number 16. The Shadow Queen tells you that too many of the details hidden behind your circumstances prevent you from moving forward quickly at this time. She has come with a lantern to shed light on what is concealed within you or your situation. This is the time to wait for more to be revealed. Perhaps you lack clarity in the knowledge of how to proceed with the subject of your inquiry. Isn't that interesting? I said the sun is shining so bright it's like I can't even see. You guys might not see. It's time to educate yourself a little more about your intention and then put that information to work for you. The Shadow Queen asks that you dig deep to gain strength and that you have the courage to ask someone in the know to shed light on your circumstances. She promises to send that person to you. Beware of moving too quickly in the dark as you will likely trip and fall and have to start again. As a challenger, the Shadow Queen gently asks you to 
address your innermost character flaws with compassion for now it's time to bring your wounded self and hidden agendas into the light you're seeing the tangible results of those aspects of your nature that have evolved in response to difficulties in your life they've been a means to help you survive perhaps you're falling prey to insecurity masks elitism and arrogance believing that you know best to comparing yourself with others or to being fearful of self-sabotaging you may have been taught that manipulating others rather than being direct is the way to get your needs met the shadow queen reminds you that manipulation in any form isn't the best method of getting what you want and another meaning that can also apply is the possibility that you're being affected by someone else's wounded self perhaps you are the one being manipulated whatever the case it's time to take a fearless personal inventory and observe what part you play in the drama and the potential disasters in your life when you come to the place of humility forgiveness and grace then you may proceed again and walk into the light there is great value and strength in facing your own shadow in the realm of the shadow queen i hope this resonates for somebody blessings to you and i hope you guys have a fabulous week i'll talk to you again soon